introduce Prime Minister Laurent Lamont. speak a little bit about Haiti, about my vision for a better place, and also thanking Accenture for bringing technology into Haiti and mostly helping those who need it the most. I can't start without thinking enough what Sean Penn has been doing in Haiti. Sean has been a genuine friend, partner, supporter of the Haitian people, the Haitian cause, and what he's done. Many other countries have not done it. Sean has taken the greatest challenge of all. Over 60,000 people living in a homeless shelter, in a camp, people desperate after the earthquake, and he managed to, re to relocate 99% of them in two and a half years. I want to ask for a big round of applause. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my vision for a better Haiti. You've heard a lot of things about Haiti in the press, on the internet. How, the, how is the country doing two and a half years after the earthquake? When President Martelly was elected with over 68% of the vote, he found a country in dire need of good management, in dire need of help, in dire need of a new beginning. We went to work from the very first day. Imagine we had to remove over 4,000 Olympic pools worth of rubble. 4,000 Olympic pools worth of rubble, that's what we found the first day that we arrived in office. We wanted to redo, revamp the education system. Haiti is a place with a lot of inequalities. 56% of the population lives with less than a dollar a day. The GDP per capita is $750 a year. The, to put a child in school, it costs a family $200 per year, and the average Haitian family has four children. So you can understand how difficult it is to send a child in school. The government wanted to, to make a difference. President Martelly, when he arrived, he had only 55% of school in the primary um, system could attend school. So we quickly put together a plan to assist and help fight poverty through education. Help fight poverty is one of the biggest challenges and one of the biggest priorities of this government. In two and a half years, from 55 to date, 88% of school children aged in the primary system are able to go to school because of the free education program that the president and, and our government put in place. Today, 1.2 million children are finding an education, an opportunity to become tomorrow a doctor, a developer, a programmer, and why not? Their dreams are able to happen through education. We want it also to make a difference because in a country with such high level of poverty, there was no social assistance program, none. Haiti is a population of 10 million. We wanted to make a difference and bring some type of help to those who need it the most. And this is where technology comes in. Because as the government is pulling from very scarce resources in order to help the one who needs it the most, it was key and essential for us to have full transparency 
and accountability for every dollar spent on a program, especially on such a massive scale. So for the first time in the history of the country, we put together a program that would cater to the poorest mothers in the country. So long as, with a condition, so long as that mom would have at least one child in school and with a perfect attendance. That's the only condition for the, for the mother to benefit from a conditional cash transfer every month. The challenge was, of course, how would we control the program, what technology we would use in order to make sure that these funds would go to the, the, the mom that we needed the most. So we had a meeting in Davos with Mark Benioff that was introduced to me by Petra Nemkova, who's here, that I thank very much for that. And that meeting changed everything for so many of the moms in Haiti without even realizing it. When I met Mark, immediately he wanted to make a difference. Immediately he sent a team down to Haiti. He sent Suzanne, he sent Chris, and then Accenture came on board to put together, to professionalize, to use technology in order to help the most vulnerable. The program was being run on Excel. We went from Excel to today, and we had about 40,000 mothers. Today, we have over 100,000 mothers receiving a, a conditional cash transfer that, it, that enables the mom to buy milk for the child, to buy food to put on the table, and that makes a significant difference, although it's little, but it makes a significant difference in the quality of life, in the ability of the family to have one meal per day. So the technology was put into that program in, in order to increase transparency, because the government alone, we want to put as many moms as we can into that program that's called Dear Little Mother, Timama Sheri in Creole. That program currently benefits moms throughout the 10 departments of Haiti, and the software allows us to have a perfect control, transparency, <coughs> and also to determine how the monthly payments are being made, who receives them, who has errors on their files, and making sure that it goes where it's supposed to go. The second thing, it, the, the software reduces the bottlenecks that we experience, that we're used to experience in the program. Again, for one purpose, making sure that the, the mom who needs it the most gets the benefit. We wanted to, to do more, so we asked the team that was sent to Haiti to work on different programs. Haiti has only 25% electricity coverage, and we wanted to put solar lighting, like Sean was saying, we wanted to put solar lighting in all the country, and we also put that program within the Salesforce application, and today we're able to see from this certain, actually made in Haiti for the first time, uh, Haiti is making its own uh, certain, it's called, it's a, it's a tablet, that has Salesforce on it. I'm able to see, and Chris and Stefan are gonna come on stage and go in details, we're able to see where are the lights being installed, what are the areas of need, which departments are benefiting. All that is contributing <coughs> to, to increasing the quality of life and fighting poverty, reducing inequalities, and also helping making Haiti a better place. Making Haiti a better place in every sense of the word. And this is the type of cooperation that goes directly to the need of the government, is to give the leaders, the decision makers, the right tools to make impactful decisions. And also, not to waste a dollar, making sure that it goes in the area where it's supposed to go to reduce waste. This is the objective that the government has put forth. We have put on the Salesforce program as well, we're working on the next phase, 
which is Haiti has over 500 NGOs working together trying to help the government and the country be better. Yet, we have one problem is task duplication and lack of coordination. So with the next phase of the Salesforce software, we're working together to have all, all over the map of Haiti a crowdsourcing with the NGOs defining exactly what work they're doing, which area to avoid duplication with others, to improve transparency so that the government knows fully how much money is being allocated in what region, how, and how long is the project going to last, so that when the project ends, the government now is able to know and also program other projects to follow, not to leave the population without the completed project. So this is what we're working as the next phase with Salesforce. When we talk about international assistance, international aid, this specific model that Accenture and Salesforce brought to Haiti went to the core of what I like to call the aid efficiency. Because usually many countries come to help and they help according to their own priorities. That's not necessarily the government priority. This particular program went to the core of what is it that we lacked, what is it that we needed, and what is it that we have thanks to Salesforce and Accenture. So I'm going to leave it to Chris and Stefan that are going to come 